The work that we're doing here in my lab is to look at uh, rearing some predaceous beetles to release in the hemlock forest in the southern Appalachians to control the hemlock woolly adelgid. It's a, an invasive pest that was accidentally introduced, they think, around Richmond, Virginia in the early 50s and first showed up around Burles Ford, the Whitewater um, Falls area, fish hatchery area, um, in about 2001 here. Basically, the way they kill a hemlock tree is by defoliating it. Um, in the northern end of the range, when we first started looking at this problem, when it showed up here in the early 2001-2 range, um, the Forest Service folks were saying it was taking somewhere in the neighborhood of about 8 to 10 years to kill hemlock trees. Uh, in the southern end of the range down here, it's taking them as little as four. So they can, they can kill hemlock trees very quickly. There are a lot of areas where the hemlocks are essentially gone. Um, we're hoping that in the southeast, um, we got started about the time the infestation started showing up. Um, and hopefully because of that, we're kind of ahead of the curve from what they've seen up there because the adelgid um, had been in their forest for 20 to 25 years before they started these mass releases of predators up in, say, Virginia and Pennsylvania and New York. Here in the southern Appalachians, um, there are some areas along the Chattooga, especially where we first started making releases, um, where the hemlock trees are in pretty good shape. So hopefully we'll, we'll keep some of the hemlocks that we have in Oconee, Pickens County, and a little bit in Greenville.